Welcome everyone back to my channel and this week again we are back to the kitchen. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make the perfect moistest turkey that you will ever ever have. So we've got our turkey right here. We've got cloves of garlic, onions, cloves, brown sugar and salt and my wine bucket here we're going to soak it overnight stay tuned and before we head in that direction let me remind you to click the subscribe button and the bell button as well so when a video gets posted you get notified right away so let's get to it i'm going to add about six garlic cloves So my garlic cloves are all ready, as you can see. What I'd like to do is squish them under my knife and just give them a little chop. They don't have to be super fine, like as if you were doing a stir fry and such because it's gonna be soaking. All that flavor is going to go. There's our garlic. And now what I have here also is, as you can see, four small onions and this uh, brine that we're making for the turkey will do all of that. There you go. I just cut mine in half, see, and they're so small. You can cut them up more fine if you want. But for me, actually, I'll actually uh, quarter them. One more cut into your brining bucket. That one's pretty small, just throw it in as is. Just like that. And the next thing we are going to add is one cup of brown sugar. Once you try this recipe, let me guarantee you, you'll always try it. There we go, that's about a cup right here of brown sugar and salt, a half cup of salt. You might think it's a lot, but it's really, really not a lot because this bucket's gonna be filled up about halfway. Numerous times before, folks. There we go. It's just that easy. And our last ingredient here, Cloves, one tablespoon of cloves. Smells like Christmas. So well, that's it for our ingredients. There you go, that's all you need. Just gotta add the turkey and water. And that'll be it. Give it a stir, it's a good idea anyway. Give it a stir just to make sure that your sugar and your cloves and all that goodness oh, smells delicious. Gotta say, I never thought I'd say this about onions and garlic, and uh, but it's the cloves. That's what smells delicious. There you go. As you can see right here, we've got it uh, just a pinch above halfway. So now we're gonna go back to our turkey here. Let's see if there's any surprises in the back of this guy. Oh yes. And like I got, I gotta say, that's not my favorite part here, but I do enjoy every bit of that. And my favorite part is in this end. Wow. This fat can go. My favorite parts, I kid you not, the turkey neck and the heart. Delicious. While the turkey is cooking, this clearly gets cooked first. And I'll be having this before it's finished cooking. There's our liver. Unlike the deer liver, I'm not taking a bite of this one, sorry. 
There goes the liver. Ooh, there's a big heart. Wow, that's one of the biggest hearts I've seen in uh, any of the turkeys that I've gotten. That is huge. My favorite turkey necks. There, that is pretty much it. And in the turkey's gonna go. can hold on most of them. I think nowadays they have these plastic hooks here that you leave on while it's cooking. Just keeps the uh, turkey kind of together. And as you can see, the turkey is totally covered in the brine here. So uh, I'll be leaving you here with uh, this to set overnight and I'll see you in the morning. Welcome, so here we are today. The turkey has been in the brine overnight. So what I'm gonna show you first is the stuffing for the turkey. So uh, all I have here, you can use your own judgment with the size of turkey you have. I have uh, all the bread crumbled up here so it's nice and small. You don't need it super tiny and there's even some pieces in here that are this size so it doesn't matter a whole lot. And right here I have about three small onions so we're going to throw this in to the breadcrumbs. And sugar, yes I did say sugar. We're going to add about two tablespoons of sugar. Then I put in usually about, just about two teaspoons of salt. There's the salt and your, actually not your last ingredient, but your next ingredient, because the last ingredient will be your butter. So the next ingredient, that gives it all the flavor, that will be your summer savory. So we have one tablespoon here, and just because the amount of stuffing that I have here, I'm going to add another tablespoon of summer savory. So then you're gonna take it and just mix it all together, which literally takes a few seconds, and then we're going to add the butter. About a half a cup of butter, and again, you can judge all on your own about the amount of butter. The main thing is to be sure that with the butter that's in your stuffing, that it somewhat holds together. So right now, I'm gonna show you exactly how the stuffing should look. And I'm gonna show you as well what I meant by holding together, how it should look if you squeeze it really hard into a ball and it's like this, but you can break it apart super easy. That's the texture uh, that you're looking for for your stuffing. Now that our stuffing is done, I'm not sure if you can see behind me here, I have the I have the stove preheating to 400. So in the beginning, before you put your turkey in your oven, preheat it to 400. And for the first 20 minutes, your turkey is going to go in your oven for about 20 minutes, just so you get that nice, uh, crisp skin on the top of your turkey so that it keeps the moisture in. That's all about, that's what it's all about for uh, your turkey. Just make sure you put it in on 400 for 20 minutes. So right here folks, and the reason behind having your stuffing somewhat moldable, because trying to put crumbs, see I have like a small snowball right here. It's so much easier to put the stuffing into your turkey. So when you're stuffing your turkey, I like to actually take my fist like this and push it in as far as you can get because the more stuffing in this turkey, the more stuffing you have and this stuffing is a favorite of mine. 
There we go. One more thing before. I like to put my hands underneath the skin here so that I can make enough room to spread butter all over this turkey breast. Because as you know, the dark meat usually is pretty uh, juicy, but you want to get some butter on those turkey breasts to keep them nice and juicy. Just take a stick of butter. I usually just break it in half. There we go. Two little cubes of butter on that side. Another one there. Just kind of put it around and then right on the very top. One right here and another right under there. You can actually see the cubes of butter right there. It'll sit. And the next thing, folks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drizzle about a quarter of a cup of butter over this. There we go. About a quarter cup of butter on the outside. There you have it. So the last thing, well, first of all, do not add salt. You soaked it in your brine, so that's got enough salt. You don't want to add more salt. And there is also salt in the stuffing, so that is fine there, no salt. So the last thing we have to do is add about three inches of water to your roasting pan. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna add it so when I look at the side here, I can see about three inches of water. So that's about it. When you first put your turkey in, don't forget 400 for 20 minutes. Do not put your cover on. The cover goes on. Want that skin to get nice and crisp. Hold in the moisture with all that butter that we that you just seen me put in there, those little squares of butter. So, 20 minutes, 400, no cover. In she goes. All right, 400, in she goes. No cover. Wow, this turkey is heavy, I really gotta say. And she is preheated to 400, so, We'll see you back in 20 minutes. This is what you're looking for with your cover off and your oven on 400. Just like I had mentioned earlier, you want that crisp. Oh, look at that. It looks great already. So what you want is this nice, thin, crisp layer on your turkey so it holds the moisture, like I said. So now we're going to, the oven is down to 350. So we're going to put the cover on. Cover goes on after you get to this point with your turkey. And just like this turkey where it's so big, it actually barely goes on. But sitting like this is just fine because the moisture is gonna stay inside the pan. So that's good. There we go. Just like that. Woohoo! Wow, have a look at this. Does it ever smell great in the house right now? What I suggest you do is baste this turkey every 30 minutes. Gotta say, smells delicious. I cannot wait for another hour or so so I can enjoy the turkey neck, which I'll baste, and also the heart and the liver. There you go, it's just that easy. Not much work, easy recipe. So, every 30 minutes. Back to the oven. I can't wait for that. 
she's done. The reveal. Wow, would you have a look at that? And I gotta say, it certainly smells delicious. And now, I am going to have the neck. Ooh, there's some of the liver. Another thing I should mention, once you lift your drumsticks right here, one of the drumsticks and they're pretty much ready to fall off, you know your turkey's done. And with the brining that you do, even if you cooked it over just a tad, then uh, it's still gonna be juicy because it's been brined. But this is a good way to tell it's done. Either side of these, they're ready to fall off. Mm. Crispy skin, gotta like it. And after just tasting the skin on the turkey, I gotta say the flavor of the cloves and the garlic and everything that uh, was in the brine with is definitely, the flavor is all there. So I'll leave you with this. I'm gonna enjoy the heart, the liver, and the neck. Click that bell button for the next video and I'll see you in the next video. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas.